guys welcome to comic book corner and it's me spider slayer getting ready to do another featured comic book review um this comic book review is based off of batman issue number six that's right so for whatever reason you're on the fence about buying batman i don't know why you would be hopefully this review will help you um, when I do these featured reviews, I do show spoilers, pictures, and everything else in that matter. But I do this to the fact being, if, if you're on the fence about a specific comic that you want to buy, um, these issues or this, this review will help you make a decision um, to see if the comic is good enough. And of course, I give you my opinion on the comic and I do a kind of like a walkthrough of the comic as well. Now, I don't do every issue um, of Batman a walkthrough like this, so I don't give away every issue. But every once in a while, I will do one or two issues every couple of months just to give you an update of what, you know, the specific comic is about. So every once in a while, I'll do a Batman walkthrough. Every once in a while, I'll do a Spider-Man walkthrough um, just to see where we're at in the story and if you guys are still interested in buying it. And then if you don't want to see any spoilers or anything like that, um, later on in the week I do a full comic book review of all the comics I bought through the week called Spider Slayer Stack. And this doesn't really give you any spoilers, it just gives you my opinion on the books and some comments. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started and let's start on Batman issue number 6. This story arc has been going on for 6 months now. But I must say that it is a good story. Um, it keeps me interested. It keeps me wanting to read Batman. Um, I'm always looking forward to see what happens. And the art is damn good, man. I tell you, Capullo hits Batman perfect. I love him. This is my favorite Batman book. Um, I did drop Detective Comics. I did not feel that... It was worth the money going to $3.99. I wasn't happy with the last two issues. Trying to make room in the budget for specific books in the future. Um, so I have to make some cuts. So if I have to miss a Batman title, it's not the end of the world. Um, but Scott Snyder is the writer. Greg Capullo is the artist. Just look at the cover in itself. I mean, that's what it's about. Last issue, Batman was basically faced in this maze with the quarter owls and talent and he's basically just experiencing some major vertigo in the last issue it had you turning this way that way up and down all the way around and you're just like what, what, what the hell what the hell's going on like who the fuck knows what's going on that was the best thing about the book next thing now we know is here in issue six the talent is basically saying you know what the court says it's time to die and you can see in the background all the people who were in the you know on the picture frames in the past as they aged and got snuck there so it's pretty pretty neat to see this and you see like Bruce Wayne's or Batman's eyeball you know sticking out there it's just sticking out just this one pupil he's like wide-eyed very very good but he's in severe pain. He's just got no no strength left in him. And basically Talon is just beating the piss out of him. I mean, you can see he just lifts him up and he throws him. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you got all these freaks. All these court owl people like looking around and stuff like that. I mean, it's just, just crazy. And they're just saying, they're saying... You know, Talon's just like, oh, you know, what do we do with him now? And uh, and they're like, his spine, he he, boy, his spine. You know, and then it's like, and then the other people are like, let the littlest one decide. And the littlest one is like some little kid with some owl mask on. 
and you can see, you know, Bruce's eyeball still looking, and she says, torture him some more. So basically that's what happens is he gets tortured some more. He gets smashed in the face. Um, he gets kicked in the face. He gets thrown through the wall. And basically all these like little owl people, you know, come on top of him. And he's just like, oh, I got to give up. I got to give up. I can't do it. And, you know, all of a sudden he sees this picture and, you know, it kind of inspires him to you know, for hope, hope to succeed, you know, begging, you know, to stop them. And just as, you know, he was just about to give up, all of a sudden he turns into some freak-like looking Batman creature thing. And I don't know what happens here if this is just him being angry and that's how they express it in the book. But he's like, oh! and he like throws all these people out and he goes into this crazy rage. And so he's just kicking the crap out of all these things, all these people, all old people. And the next thing we see is we see an epic battle now between Talon and and Batman. And it just uh, it just goes on. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. You can just see here. Here's some more pages. It's pretty awesome. The battle just goes on, but the artwork is what makes it so good, you know? can't get the angles right sorry guys I mean just phenomenal and then Batman just starts pe beating the shit out of him and um, it again the battle it's just like one major brawl in this particular issue and then Spider-Man I'm sorry but Batman just basically just you know kicks the crap out of him throws him through the through the uh, walls and the next thing Batman says is, you know what I have to escape and he basically blows a hole through the wall. Talon, I think, is basically, I don't he's not quite dead, but he's almost dead. And um, he goes and he falls through this hole and he, he says he must get out. The next thing we see is we see him fall deep, deep into the cave. And he goes underwater and he's gasping for air. And Batman is going under the water. And basically here he's just trapped. I mean we don't we don't know what happens here. He's in the water and but he's getting lost. You see? He's getting lost all the way down. It sinks deep, deep, deep into the water. The next thing we see is they say, Oh, let's get rid of Talon, we don't need him because you know what? We have so many more of them. And now he goes, and now this owl person goes, now all we have to do is wake them up. So the court of the owls is going to wake up all these talons. And I guess they're going to try to find Batman again. But is Batman really alive? Yeah, of course he is. He's just somewhere under the ocean, somewhere in water. I don't know where he is, but he's just trying to get some water. But I guess now we're going to have the next issue is we're going to have all these talons because it says rise of the talons. So can you imagine Batman fighting all these guys? I don't know, man, but seriously, this was the issue. The issue was pretty much one big brawl between Talon and Batman. Batman comes on top of this one. He still got the piss beat out of him. We still don't know if he's technically alive or not, but I know he is because otherwise the series would end and we don't want that, right? Not with this book. This is a damn good book. So... Um, I give, I give this one actually a five out of five. I, I like it. Um, I'm just curious to see how long this story arc is going to go on for, because, okay, we're going on to six, um, right? Six, six issues now with this. And, uh, I'm just curious to see, okay, when is this going to end? And then where is this book going to go from here on out? So I'm definitely curious about this because now we're heading into a seventh issue with this particular story arc and it's just continued and continued. But at least it's good and at least I can say about that. So, but if you're looking to uh, get a Batman title, guys, this is it. This is my favorite one. And from what I hear from other of my comic book friends out there, um, I think it's theirs too. So that's it. Batman, issue number six, suggest you buy it, all right?
So this is it for today, and I will see you guys soon until the next comic book review. Spider Slayer signing off. See you soon, guys. Bye.